Hey guys, Joe here from JTS Sharding. It's Monday the 9th of September. We are having a quick look at the DEX, the Bitcoin and also gold. This here is a tweet from the 26th of August on X and I was showing that here shown in blue that descending broadering wedge which was missing that trigger point. I said well there are min targets at 18A23. We were hitting those and we triggered that pattern and then usually this pattern after it triggered it likes to overshoot and pulls back. That was here my projection and this was my latest post of that daily etc shot here it got triggered we overshot we always hit 19k and then we went for a 38.2 retracement around 18 to 39. I actually gave my members that hint last evening that we might hit these levels overnight only that is the case so far because Dex is already pushing much much higher and one more thing this here is um, the H1 shot, by the way. Uh, here's, for example, an M15 shot, because some people don't really want to understand or not are able to understand. This 15 minute shot got nothing to do with a daily projection. This was here a very bullish outlook out of the M15 shirt. And we see another bullish descending broader wing wedge. It worked out pretty well until we triggered and pulled back but then here it failed completely and went all the way down. However, it gave you almost 150 points to the upside, 100 points to the downside and if you don't secure your trade over here, don't please complain about it. Yeah, we're jumping into the Discord at gold. This is the H4 time frame. All different time frames are nicely in order here. I'm just zooming that in. This is a symmetrical triangle here shown in red. It broke out, it back tested that upper trend line. I was showing that last time already. And since then, gold is moving sideways in that blue range. This shot is actually bullish because we broke out and we are consolidating above these levels here. And there is actually on this chart here. 2554 is already a magnet level and it's just slightly above that first target of that symmetrical triangle. Whereas the daily chart, I will show you in a minute, is actually bearish already. There's a cycle low suggested here at the end of September and there's that bearish wolver wave pattern. However, there are still targets, oh, that was the last post, we are Still having targets of 2537, which got missed out by a little bit. They can be seen in this week before gold is turning around with that bearish RSI divergence. Last but not least, Bitcoin. This is a live daily chart. Um, this projection here um, has been in the chart for almost two months and I haven't really changed it. Um, I must say that this bounce here, I consider it still as a bounce, uh, confused the hell out of me as well. I got kicked out of uh, 63,000 as well. I had very nice short positions which were built up here um, when we had that push over here. Um, however, these cycle lows, as you can see in um, July on the 5th of August, and now once again um, on Thursday, we made the low on Friday, and um, they worked out quite well, but I'm still going actually for lower targets between 45,000 um, between 45,000 to 47,000 sometime in October. And we're having a quick look at the H1 of Bitcoin because this one is actually bullish on the shorter time frame. Um, on Friday, once again, we were back testing the 138%, 52,827 almost on the dot. There's this bullish Wolver wave pattern with a target line running around the 58,500 area. And there are two bullish sequences in blue and in green. And uh, these levels here, 56,500, 56, 500, 56 uh, yeah, around that level. These are actually magnet levels and um, they will decide if we're actually moving higher or lower on the shorter time frame. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you liked it. Um, leave me a like or a nice comment. And I see you uh, most likely on Wednesday for another US market update. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.